Hello my fellow assault men, this is your leader Hydro, and today we are playing some more Train Simulator 2017. Technically I don't have the routes that 2017 came with, but yet, I mean, the game still installed updates that were needed for it, so whatever. Today we are on the Estuate branch. Oh my god, it took so fucking long to get this. I mean, it took me like a couple months in order to download all this shit because UK Train Sim... No, UK Train Sim... I don't know why, but unless you have like a premium account, apparently it's very slow. It takes like hours. Like, what the hell? Anyway, we're finally here after a lot of pain, just waiting on my computer, just sitting there, watching YouTube, just doing whatever. And we are going to be reviewing an update to the uh, London, London Brighton South Coast Railway A1 to, or A1X Terriers. There is an air update from Steam Child Supreme. The first update being uh, some minor glitches fixed, hopefully, for it. And the other one, which was a couple months later, the later, at the later years add-on, which brings in like British Railway livery, some other liveries that I was uh, that I was cast in a few years later. Yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's head off to the uh, um, to the docks over here and let's review them. So the first class we have here is of course the A ones, in which it has the British Railways. I don't know if it's early or late crest. I want to say it's late crest in clean version. We have the late crest worn version. We have the Great Western Railway livery one. We have the Great Western Railway with the named. Uh, this one is Portishead. Next we have the... It's like the K-something. God damn it. Here, give me, a, give me a second while I look it up. Ah, here we go. So this, the blue one here is the Kent and East Sussex Railway in blue livery which can be in the livery that it is right now and the sick in 1960s black I don't know how to do that I'll probably look in the man I mean I have the manual right here but I got a few thi but once I get to the part where I could do accessories along it maybe a little later next we have the Weston Chevin and Port um, Portishead Railway livery and then we have the named version livery of it. They all look really nice, it's just... I wish they would have done a bit more with the... But I mean, it's not, I guess it wasn't really common for them to be in the A1 version of the locomotive for this, because this is just like... I think some of the... Yeah, some of these are just like... Just thought, oh, it feels right to just put them in there because the A1Xs were in those liveries. Or they were, or some of them were actually casted in the blueberry before they were turned to A one A one X's. But well, either way, it still looks all nice. And then the other one we have here is the A one X's. So um, I'll start back here. Uh, I'll start right here. So we have the British Railways 1950, 1956 uh, livery. Well, clean obviously. Then we have the worn version of it. Then we have the oh, so the I think if I look at this right, this no, yeah, this is pre livery because the crest right here is early days. Back here is the post li uh, post livery, which is the which is the late crest. So we have the clean version of it, the worn version of it, clean version, and then worn version. Next we have the Canton East uh, Sunex Railway and its blue livery. I still don't know how to put it in black. I, wait, actually, I think this is the black livery for it. If I'm wrong, someone correct me on that because I am not for sure. The manual doesn't really give much, apparently, but it, even though it should, because it, Steam Sound Supreme does a lot with this. I mean, they help that Victory works a lot with things, and I think those two together, they make a really good team. Next, we have the Weston Chavand and Portside Railway. Someone correct me if I'm saying it wrong. And then we have the named version of it. 
and then we have the Great Western named one. Now you think now you're thinking, Hydro, uh where's the normal Great Western one? Well it's right over here. We passed it a long time ago. Inside the sheds of the Ivert, the Class 40, and the little shunter right here. Which, I mean, not the best, but again, this is a freeway route. We have it right here just sitting in the shed getting ready for the day's work. And over here, as you can see, we have a Great Western Saint bringing in a train that we're going to have to shunt for it. So, how about we go into the world editor quick. We click that, and then yes. Okay, here we are. So now, if you go into the world editor and go to this little scenarios tab, you're going to have to w run all the way back from the other station, which is way far, which is a pain to get, get from. We click we double click on the engine right here. As in you can see there's like an N N two one N N N N okay. So a yes. Extra wheel weight. Yes. And I don't I mean what some some of them like half of this stuff will show on the outside, but then some of it might show by sound, some of it won't show, so it's like more on the inside. We'll just have to look around it from there. So bunker type. Why don't we go with um, seven since that's the one I have on my uh my little model railway route. Uh, chimney size. Oh, the chimney. So if, if you go back up to the top, there's a list of. There should be a list. I don't know what to really do with it. The fifth one, which is the N right there, which is, yeah, right there, it is spark um, arrester, so it's like the fire embers that go out the, the chimney. So I'm going to say, just for the heck of it, yes. So now the, ne the N right next to the Y that I just made will be the tall lamp brackets. I'm going to say end to that because I don't really care for it. And I always, I think it looks much more nicer without the extended lamp, you know. So, lubricator boxes and tank fronts. I'm going to say yes to that since I'm not sure what that is. So, we go to the next end. Uh, handles on tank fronts. I would like to say yes to that. Whereas, okay, hold on. It is the eighth one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, right here. There. Now, the one right there, you can, this is this one is the dome, which is technically right here. So, the dome can be the original, or it could be the Drummond, which has the it's like the safety valves there. It will have the safety valves on top or inside. And I think it's inside usually. I'm going to say I, I don't think it really looks good in my opinion. So I'm just going to keep it keep it one right now. Next we have the N, which is the, which is the toolbox that will show on top of the boiler. And I, I do want that, since I think that's very unique for this little mo locomotive. Now, the one that's right next to the Y I just made is the whistle type. So you can either have the original high-pitched one from the London Brighton and South, South, South Coast Railway, or you can have the Isles of Wight Southern Ho um, Hooter. I mean, I like the first one. But it's not as fluent as the Hooter as you see in the first video. But in, I'm just going to keep it one right now since we didn't hear the, the original one before. Extra steps at front, which is basically the um, the letter right right next to the one. Um, I'm going to say yes to that. Next one we have an N. What is that one? That is the 
Isles of Light style splasher. Still not sure what that is, but if someone knows, please go ahead and tell me. And I'm going to say yes to that. Head code, letter, okay. Uh, num and then you can change the number from there. And I'll just keep it six for now. So after that's all done, we can see our creation. Ah, here we go. So as you can see here, we have the toolbox. We have the bo the the dome, and if so, you see that that if we had the other dome, it, these would be inside of the dome. Then we have the original whistle uh, back here. I don't think uh, not really much. Don't crash on me, please. I'm. Uh, the extra steps you can see right next to the cab right there. Uh, extra splashers is probably where the wheels are. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it's like right here. Maybe? I'm not sure. Someone correct... No, that's the step. If someone knows... Uh, or is it that? I have no idea. If someone knows where all these parts are, then please tell me, because I have no idea. Then we see that we have the original lamps. Um, and I think we're good. So, what I'm going to do is get this saint up and running. I'm going to keep it I'm going to keep it off because I don't know how to control the brakes in the in the advanced mode. So, let's set the path quick. Where is my player? That's all the way over, Jesus. So, the path is set, which is good. Uh, yep. So let's uncouple back here. If I'm able to do it with my con with my mouse, if I can, there we go. There we go. It's uncoupled. Uh, let's put the regulator. No, no. I mean the brakes on running mode. If I can, there we go. Bring the reverser up just a tad, and let's slowly drive out. Now with the Saints, there will be a ton of other names too, but there's one that's like a dragon one, it, it was dragon something, and that's what I have on my model railway, and I think it's just gorgeous. So let's drive this little baby in front. Now where are the points right here? Jesus is a big ruin. It's lagging as hell. Let's put the brake on. The handbrake. Next will be the points. Hope it don't change. It's not changing. That's good. Uh, let's set the reverser back. Regular uh, handbrake off. And let's pull it back. And then we'll put it maybe if it goes back just a tad more. How about right there? Next we'll go to the little terrier that's right here. Actually, let's set the points for this little guy quick. So he's right there, so set that, 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 and there we go. Now, if, if I'm able to click on this little guy, there we go. We'll have a mess mode on for this because I've been practicing with this little one. So let's go into the cab. And eh, nothing, nothing's really changed. Now, now that usually when you do that, it'll be on. So you, you so please check that you have it off. Or just right here, because if you don't, then you're it, it's gonna be really it's gonna be really struggling. So let's 
let's hold E and then drag it all the way forward. Uh, let's put the brake on running. And I think we should be good to go. So let's slowly but surely bring the regulator just a little up. Look at that. I'll probably make this video into a two-parter. But, you know. I'm just going to make sure it's going the right way quick. Yeah, it should be. Uh, ease it on. Okay. Handbrake. Oh, come on, you stupid points. <sighs> Move that. Now I'm going to make sure it doesn't change on me. Let's see. So it goes there. Uh, there. And boom. Ta-da! Alright. No, wait. Did it change on me? No, it didn't. Okay, I'm just making sure in case I didn't cross it properly. So, let's hold E. Bring this down. Uh, take off the handbrake. And slowly, but surely, ah, screw it. Oh, I love this little engine so much. They've done, they've done a lot of research, is what I know. So here's a Saint again. I might do a review on this. I have no idea. But it's blowing off right now, which is not okay. Now, I could have done an E2 review on this route, which I might. But I won't have a little shunting thing like this. Um... Now... Oh, easy there, bud. So, let's pull forward just a bit because I'm worried of what might happen if I try to couple up. So, let's pull forward just a tad. Now, let's take down the reverser again and slowly ease up to it. Hmm. Okay. Let's ease it forward just a bit more. Okay, thank god it didn't do anything. Okay. Next, we... It should just be set, shouldn't it? Uh, I'm gonna make it go to... Wait, what's those trucks right there? Hold on. Let's go check over here. Yeah, there are some cars right here. I'll probably make it go into the middle one. So let's quickly do that. Go into here. Set the points. Uh, set the points right there. Uh, and just set it there because I don't know what's going to happen in case I somehow screw up. Alright. We should be good. So I'm going to do it from a distance because you guys can barely hear me. Oh yeah, and I also figured out, if you do control space bar, which is basically the whistle for this locomotive, it will have the short blasts, which, I kind of like the short blasts for the hooter just a tad more, but this is still good. If you can hear from here, alright, we should be good to go. Uh, take off the handbrake, and we should be good to go. Give it a bit more power. Come on. Your handbrake is off. Come on. 
Or it might be too much for this little one. I have no idea. I'm going to check the brakes quick. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. No, the, all the brakes are off. Maybe this was a bit too much for the little guy. Oh, if you could also see that little orange thing on top of the chimney right there. Yeah, that's the spark accessor. No, uh, uh, arrestor, which basically it stops sparks going along. It's supposed to stop sparks going along the line, but it, it, res it resists it just a little bit. And this pa and this later years pack also comes with two other scenarios, which is one is on the uh, Riviera Fifties route. The next one is on what is it? It's on the Portsmouth Direct Line. Yeah, Portsmouth Direct Line. And the main pack it comes with um, a scenario. In the, on the West Somerset Railway, which I think you need the S160 for. I'm not for sure. I'll have to look back on it. Next, you need... What was your... I need to look back on the other one, but... It's, um... I think it's on the... No, it's on Isles of White. No, the, the, other, the other ones on, are on the Isles of White. And I remember a, a couple months after the main pack was released... It was on Steam Sound Supreme, uh, not Steam Sound Supreme, I mean, it was on uh, Steam, I'm like, so I paid 22 bucks for, I mean, again, it, it was a twin pack, so it was like the early years and the main pack, I spent 22 bucks for something I could have gotten on Steam a couple months later, are you serious, which I was pretty pissed about, just hear the bark of it, oh my god. And if you can hear the chuffet, like, oh my god, I want to say, maybe, damn it, what was it, what was it, it's, uh, I think it was like, like, 15 miles per hour, oh my god, it sounds like a A4 Pacific, oh my god, it's actually really cool. So I'm going to put the blower on as you just coast in. Um, yeah, that's probably good. Put the brakes on. Come on, stop. Now, we should. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the little review. If you want me want to see me play around with it more as I shunt around the yard of the S-Weight branch, which is kind of showing off the docks of it, make sure you slap that like button and comment down below anything that either I missed or asking me why I haven't gone for God knows how long. Or if you just want to see this little guy again, because I really appreciate the support you've been giving me for the earlier video on on this on the terriers and like my mind was blown like oh my god you guys are crazy after only getting six views like per person like the per video I mean what the hell you guys are crazy so I like to say thank you so much for the support on the other video and I hope to see you guys again on this game because I really enjoy this so it's time to say I will see you later Recruits. Let's... Bye-bye!